my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Hey, a cool comment below uh, yesterday's video was about deliberate practice, that scientists have found that it's not repetition, it's not how much time you practice, it's whether your practicing is deliberate or not. But of course it's how much time, and because of course it's how many repetitions as well, right? It's a recipe, everything goes into that recipe, and out of the oven comes great guitar skills. So what is deliberate practice? Well, it is what it says, it's deliberately practicing. But that is a joke, really, isn't it? Because let's just say pra you're practicing, but it's not deliberate. Are you really practicing then? When you don't tell yourself and your brain what it is that you're trying to do, then you have no aim, you have no goal, there's not, there's not a, a finite, very accurately defined thing that you're trying to get better at. Then are you practicing then? Or are you just playing? Are you just using what you know already and repeating that? You know, if it's not deliberate, it isn't there. <laughs> it isn't. And that's what I mean by focusing. And that's what I mean by creating little loops that are results focused, where you take something and say, okay, I want to learn how to play this song. Instead of playing all eight chords, you take two chords and repeat them over and over again. Until deliberately, <laughs> you know, but that is kind of, you know, what we always talk about. If you're not practicing deliberately, then just forget about these videos and go back to noodling over jam tracks and just playing random stuff, whatever you feel like, right? That's not what these videos are about. You, of course, practice deliberately because if you're not practicing deliberately, you're not practicing. How can you? It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't to me. So it's just like saying, okay, you're, you're the best, uh, you know, car driver if you watch the road as you're it's basically the same you have a you, you have a goal right and you're trying to fulfill that goal that's mean that what that's what deliberate means so when you're practicing you create these little loops and those loops are aimed at a specific thing you want to make that pattern of movement automatic in your brain and how do you do that i'm not done here with the deliberate practice thing uh because how do you do that well first of all you practice it right but at some time you don't practice deliberately anymore. You don't. You just put in the repetitions. And if you if you don't, you know, if you don't do this, you'll never reach the point of mastery. You simply won't. Because everything you master, just think about it, if you doubt this, everything you master, everything that anybody mastered was repeated thousands of times. And oh, that's boring. It's not boring. Because once you're over the deliberately practicing stuff, <laughs> then suddenly it's already automatic. Now, you've been very deliberately brushing your teeth, right? And you say, okay, I have to this side and then this side and then in there. And I have to go this side and that and up here and have to remember and have these circular movements when you're kind of brushing the outside of the teeth. Because otherwise, you know, all these things is very deliberately brushing your teeth. But as you do that, then gradually, as you don't need to have that conscious focus anymore, it slips away, doesn't it? And then you just then you've created a habit, a pattern of movement that runs itself. You know, sometimes you check in, right? So, uh, did I remember this place? And right, and then and that's what our brain is able to do. But what precedes that is deliberate practice. I hate that word. I basically do because what are you talking about? I am practicing deliberately. Are you eating deliberately now, right? <laughs> or are you just smushing the food in your face, right? Or are you actually deliberately having a goal of, you know, fulfilling the need to nurture your body and to not feel hungry anymore and thereby deliberately eating food so you could, you know, right? And that just the whole notion that we cannot be deliberately not practicing, it doesn't exist. You're not practicing if it's not deliberate. Of course you're not. Common sense, right? With no focus, what are you doing? I don't know. I guess I'm practicing. No, you're not, right? But once you're over that phase of being conscious about what you do, then basically what happens is that you now have an automated pattern 
The brain still needs just a tiny bit of focus on it to get it right, and you need it needs to really focus on it on a deeper level. But you can start doing other things, and now you're not practicing deliberately anymore. You know, 90% of the practicing I did was not deliberate, but that doesn't mean I just put on a jam track and start playing random stuff that I knew already. It meant that I was deliberately creating little loopable patterns like two chords over and over again, or like a scale shape back and forth in two positions on two different strings, and then to the next. Patterns that I could go back and forth, back and forth, in a loop, over and over again. Once I was done practicing that deliberately with focus and really, mm, then gradually I, I'm building a pattern because I'm repeating it so much with so much focus that suddenly I can freaking brush my teeth without even thinking about it. And now I can start practicing. That's where practicing begins, right? Is when it's not deliberate anymore. It's deliberate when you decide that for the next 15 minutes, you predetermine, yeah? Uh, for the next uh, 15 minutes, I'm going to practice this loopable pattern of six notes on two strings, okay? So I set my alarm, and then I just start going perfect repetitions. But it's not with focus anymore because I'm watching YouTube videos and I'm, you know, entertaining myself because I know and I trust that because I practiced with focus, this pattern is ingrained already. It's just not fast enough, right? So in order for me to get it faster, I want to brushing my teeth or walking or whatever else you master, right? Same pattern always. Um, and the big, uh, and the big realization that. You know, mastery comes from deliberate practice. Well, what the f you know? <laughs> oh, we thought that these people over here who's not practicing deliberately, meaning they're going around in circles, talking about all, the, all kinds of stuff, you know, noodling a little bit. Sorry, I'm really, you know, painting a grim picture of this. But, but how would you ever imagine those people to be? I once looked into a whole room of people who was practicing Taekwondo, and some of them had Taekwondo, I think it is in, in English, and then they had like, you know, brown belts, and which is pretty high, and blue belts, and it looked like I was, you know, I was practicing, you know, I, was, I have some degree of mastery in Taekwondo, and I just looked into the room and just said, oh, what are they doing? They all look like absolute noobs, like they could not, you know, it was awful, like awful because it wasn't deliberate. There was nobody saying, you know, you gotta do it the right way, you gotta do it this way, and then checking up on that, right? What, what do you need to do? How does that pattern of mm, movement look, right? How do you need to punch? And then, you know, a, tr uh, a coach that said, that is not the right way. You have to redo it, right? That's deliberately, but you know, without that, you're not practicing. You, I just have the blue belt in Taekwondo. Who the, f who gave you that belt, right? So don't expect anything to happen unless you have focus slash deliberateness, right? But from that, you can certainly practice, and there's no way of going all the way to mastery without automated practicing. Every single one who ever achieved mastery did those patterns over and over again to the point where more and more little details of the movement of the whatever becomes automated and not deliberate because it becomes an automated pattern. Because what is mastery other than undeliberateness? Automation. So you can focus on fighting because everything is automatic, or you can focus on playing because playing is automatic and you can put your focus in it. That's where the juice is, right? So that's my 10 cents, or two cents, about uh, deliberate practice. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it, do it now, do it.